You must have a lot of fun, though, because there is something that is so glorious about playing someone who is slightly minxy, you know. You, you, you get to have a little bit more to you. I don't think Joni was minxy. I think she was more brown owl. But, <laughs> uh, but um, uh, it, of course, it's fun being in a programme that belongs to the people. And uh, But I think Denise Osborne has got some... Uh, more mileage, yeah. you know, I hope. Yeah. It, I, I, no, sorry. No, I was just going to say about the storyline. I mean, how could you have left your lovely son of 15 <laughs> all at home, on his own, in that's, a hurry? That's actually a very serious question <laughs> because um, mothers do leave their children and it's not talked about. It's a taboo, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it happens. So she had a breakdown ah. mm. and she meant to go back. But she obviously lost confidence. Um, when she first came in in 1992, she was already two marriages, two dead marriages behind her. <laughs> so, uh, so I decided that she'd lost a lot of confidence in herself, that she went back when she did the, came back ten years ago and she tried that very embarrassing kiss with Ken. And he <laughs> said, no. <laughs> I think she nosedived. Mm. Yeah. There's something, sorry, Nadia, but there's something really raw about what you've just said there. And, and did, have you had a, a tremendous response from the public? Because one of the things that Corrie does so well is touches on subjects that maybe aren't necessarily out there. And surely mothers abandoning their children is, is one of those. Um, we haven't gone that far into it at the mm. moment. I've just been getting an awful lot of love on social media. But and I wanted what to I mean. say thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, obviously, she's a very flawed person, mm. but that's perfect yeah. territory, isn't yeah. it, for yeah. continuous drama. Can she get closer to uh, Daniel? Well, Rob and I have got some takes on that. But, but, yeah. but you and Rob, what, what you, you, you've, you've become very close, haven't you? And you've... He let me sleep on his sofa. Yeah, I love that about <laughs> you, Denise. <laughs> I wonder what you were going to say that. And it was a two-seater, and I spent an awful lot of time at the beginning of the night going, I don't actually know whether I could do this anymore. I mean, have you recently tried to sleep on a two-seater? Yeah. But, um, that, but there was a reason for that. Yeah, we ran lines. Um, uh, it's actually Daniel Brockbank's flat. And the three of us were learning lines and checking each other because one of the biggest things about soap is just learning, absorbing the lines so that you can say them with conviction. It's mm. very hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we were checking each other and talking about backstories. And there, stuff. There's so many dark plots going on in Cory. Mm -hmm. are, are a lot of you Cory fans? Yeah. Well, they don't know. <laughs> Do you like it at the moment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gloria's yeah. glued. <laughs> Gloria's glued at the moment. I, know, I didn't you? used to watch Cory at all, but I am glued because I, lo I actually loathe the grooming story mm. and this beautiful young girl who's about to be thrown to all these men and that really disturbs me even though I know it's not true and Corey but, but I it, find it, it disturbing it should disturb you yes because it's a very disturbing phenomenon the sweet little actress when she was doing the press release was in tears because some girl had come forward in the street to her and told her about what had happened when she was young mm. these are very big series uh, stories and should so be tackling them well the argument is that Yes, if it happens, mm. but maybe not to sling it all in our face so that it hurts us too much, because mm. it's I a big one. When, I mean, I've heard from so many people who've acted in soaps that it's always a very close-knit family, and Corrie's pretty famous for that. What is your reaction, then, to this uh, very sad news that we've had overnight about Roy Byrick? I just heard... On I the promo. You, I, we, we all literally heard together, yeah. didn't we? It was so yeah. upsetting. Well, he was a lovely man, and it's a sad loss. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Did you act with him? Yeah. Well, um, I was there in 92 to 96, and I was not invented to be in the Ken Barlow story. In fact, my character had never had anything to do with him, but Annie fell ill, and um, they'd already filmed a reunion kiss, oh. and we'd all cheered, uh, uh, but it never got broadcast because Annie became ill, mm. so Denise just got put into that... Mm. Storyline, and that's how I got that's a career. How you <laughs> <laughs> actually, you're just saying how you've been in so many things. Um, when you left Corrie originally, did you immediately pick up work or did you have a no. downtime? No, I was out of work for two years. I could have gone on a number one tour, but I wanted to be with my family more, mm. um, and uh, it was very, very tricky. Mm. Uh, I mean, Angela Griffin did very well, and Sarah Lancashire did very well, and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, what, <laughs> what you get through makes you stronger. Yeah. And um, I've gone on to do... I'm very proud that I keep on working in theatre as well as telly. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind a film, though. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're really thrilled.
thrilled to see you back in Corrie. Oh. I want to tell you about Babs. So I really, really love those two. And I was doing Sister Act and I was on tour and I'd asked um, the cast if they'd come over. And I got, I sent letters, say, and I wrote by hand, just individually. And I got on a first night card from Babs and it said, by hand and foot. And she'd actually come <laughs> to the stage door oh, and given it oh, to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it, was it g glorious working with everyone again? Because that's the thing, when you, when you go away and then return back, was there a bit of nerves as everyone moved on? The absolute truth is now the speed that it goes, yeah. you can't study all the storylines. So I didn't know this grooming one. I, okay. I only saw that at the press release. Uh, um, I, I had to concentrate on the, what's happening in the yeah. Barlows and Lord yeah. knows it's kicked off. Everything's <laughs> happening there. <laughs> uh, and I was taken aback. Don't you think that it looks different? Different to how it looked, and I thought the honesty and commitment yeah. that the actors gave, and the kind of space it wasn't all. I was really proud of it. I think it's flying at the yeah. moment.